Hey beauties, if you'd like to see how I lightened and colored my hair to achieve this look, stay tuned. But before we begin, I am not a professional. I am just a regular girl with a little experience and a little knowledge that wants to share with you people who already made up their mind to bleach and color their hair themselves. I am not telling anyone to go color or bleach their hair. So if you are not comfortable in your own hair, this is only for you to pick up some healthy tips and advice. Before obtaining any chemicals in your hair, do your own research. The first step is preparation. The things you are going to need are a rat tail comb, a petroleum based oil, two plastic caps, scissors, light protein conditioner. Ensure you are wearing an old t-shirt that you are not going to mind getting messy. First, I'm going to take my rectal comb. Actually, I decided to just use my fingers and first separate the section of hair I want to lighten. Then afterwards, I'm going to use my rectal comb and I'm going to neaten that part. Now I'm taking that section of hair and I'm putting this into a chiny bump or a bantu knot. I'm going to apply my light protein conditioner which I've already mixed in my container using the L'Oreal Ever Pure Moisture Deep Conditioner and a quarter ounce of my Jerry Redding Natural Protein. And I'm applying that all throughout the loose area of my hair that I am not coloring. And I'm spritzing it with water because it, I wanted it a little more flexible. That is not uh, Ray and Nephew. That is actually homemade coconut oil that I am applying to my hair. You don't have an oil over the deep conditioner, but that's how I like to deep condition. Now I'm just going to gather my hair back and pin it up with my hairpin. I'm taking my scissors and one of my plastic caps and I'm placing it over my hair. I'm cutting a hole right above the chiny bump, making sure not to cut my hair. And I'm going to poke the chiny bump through. What this is going to do is allow my hair to deep condition while I work on that section of hair. And I'm taking my petroleum based oil. I'm using the ORS coconut oil and I'm applying it to my already colored hair so that I don't overlap the bleach and cause breakage and thinning. Then I'm using a dark colored towel. I always have a dark colored towel on hand. So now we're going to separate the hair in preparation for the light now. All you're going to need is your rat tail comb and your double prong clips. So first I'm going to reuse my rat tail comb and yes my double prong clips. I'm going to use a rat tail comb and I'm going to separate the hair in small sections like quarter inch sections and I am going to comb the hair through to get rid of any tangles or shedded hair and use my double prong clip and place it right above my already colored hair. So this is just going to mark where I'm going to stop um, brushing down the bleach. This uh, separating the hair before allows you to apply the color faster so you don't over process the hair. Good. Now that the hair is all separated, it's time for the fun part. Lightning. The things you're going to need are 20 or 30 volume developer, lightning powder, scissors, pair of rubber gloves, plastic bowl, plastic spoon, Measuring spoons, dark towel, and an applicator brush. Right here, I have a volume 40 developer. Never use a volume 40 developer. I'm going to dilute it with a heavy protein conditioner where I took my Pantene, dry to moisturize, and a little of my jerry and I mix it in my plastic bowl, half and half with my developer so that I could reduce it to a volume 20. You can do more research on reducing your volume developer, but just play it safe and buy a 20 or a 30 developer. Now I'm taking my lightning powder and I am cutting it away from my face as stated on the directions. Always read your directions carefully. 
so it is two parts of the powder and three parts of the developer I mix it in my plastic bowl the instructions said to use one ounce of the powder to 1.5 ounce of the developer so that's what I'm going to do one tablespoon that's why I'm going to use two, three tablespoons of the developer and two tablespoons of the powder and mix it in my plastic bowl ensure to use a plastic bowl and a plastic spoon so that your powder that, so that the bleach does not oxidize no metal spoon no metal bowl then I'm going to put that in and two tablespoon of the lightning powder and I'm going to mix it very well with my plastic spoon I mix it about for five to ten minutes very well so everything is nicely blended this is the part where I'm going to put on my rubber gloves because the powder can burn you and I'm going to mix 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 for about five to ten minutes very well all done now I'm going to use my applicator brush and apply the bleach I'm separating one single section first and adjusting the clip then I'm going to apply the mixture uh, one inch away from my scalp top and bottom and carry it straight down to on the top of the metal clip I'm not going to make it touch the metal clip but just right above it the reason I'm applying the lightener an inch away from my root is because the natural heat from my head will cause uh, the bleach to process much faster that's why some persons may notice that when they're coloring their hair that the um, the hair closer to the scalp will be much lighter than the end part so what I'm doing is allowing the middle part of my hair to process first and then apply the bleach closer up to my roots still not applying it onto my roots but just about a quarter inch away from my roots then I am going to apply more of the color more of the bleach and saturate each and every strand now that hair is saturated with the mixture I am going to sit with it on my hair until I see my desired color change and then I'm going to neutralize many persons seem to forget this step but it's very important to always shampoo your hair with a neutralizing shampoo after applying the bleach to your hair because that lightning powder can continue to process indefinitely that is why some persons may notice that their hair start breaking soon after lightening their hair because the chemical is still working on the hair thinning out the hair causing it to become thin and break so I'm going to use my organic root stimulator creamy aloe shampoo in the professional bottle and I'm going to shampoo my hair three times on the fourth wash I am going to leave the shampoo on my hair for 10 minutes to sit on my hair while I mix my color ensure that you're using a semi-permanent color over your already lightened hair because permanent colors will lift your hair and you already did that with a lightener and if you do that with the permanent color now you're going to cause breakage and damage so the things you're going to need are your semi-permanent rings applicator brush dark towel and other plastic cap if you're not mixing your color like I am you can just use your one color straight out of the bottle okay I'm back from shampooing that one section of hair with my organic root stimulator neutralizing shampoo and it's still sitting on my hair so I'm going to allow it to sit there while I mix my color I'm going to discard the bleach and everything throw it away uh, so I can mix my color in a clean bowl so I am mixing avatar and optimum 
and I am taking more of the Avatar Rose Red Rose Wood Brown and a little of my Optimum Copper Sunset and I am going to mix that thoroughly. There is nothing wrong with mixing different brands of semi-permanent color. And after I'm finished mixing, I'm going to just go and shampoo my hair. All clean. So what I'm going to do is towel dry my hair. This will help to absorb any excess water so that the color can better be absorbed into the hair. So what I'm going to do is spread my dark towel on the surface I'm working so that I don't mess up the place. So all I'm going to do now is use my fingers to apply the color and saturate my hair thoroughly. So while I do this, I'm just going to share some tips with you on bleaching and coloring your hair. When I shampooed my hair before I applied my color, it got rid of any buildup on the hair so that the dye could adhere to the strands for even coating. To allow your color to last longer, you're going to want to switch to a sulfate free shampoo or a cleansing conditioner that is gentler on your hair. The lighter you go with your bleach is the more damage you cause and the more care you're going to need to give your hair. You're going to also notice after lightening your hair that your hair is more accepting of protein. So even if you're natural, you may want to do a medium protein treatment once a month to prevent breakage. Deep conditioning, moisturizing and sealing becomes even more important after lightening and bleaching, lightening and coloring your hair. Also remember that when you do a touch up, always use a semi permanent color to do so. Other tips and warnings for relaxed ladies. Unless you never intend to relax your hair again, never ever apply the lightener to your new growth. You're begging for breakage and your hair will fall out. Any horror story you hear about relaxing your hair and bleaching your, and bleaching your hair and that you can't do it, it's most likely because the person bleached their new growth or bleached their hair and then overlapped the relaxer over that already lightened area. It happened to me already where an inexperienced hairdresser lightened my new growth and then a couple of weeks later when I went to relax my hair with her, she put the relaxer over my bleached hair and all my hair fell on the ground. Ladies, you do not know how much hair you have on your head until you see it on the ground. It's best to wait two weeks post relaxer to lighten your hair. And even after waiting the two weeks to lighten your hair, always apply the lightener one eighth of an inch away from your scalp to allow room for error the next time you relax your hair. So now I'm just going to use my white tooth comb and I'm going to comb through the dye so that it's evenly distributed and all strands are saturated. After doing this, I'm going to put my second plastic cap over my hair. Then I'm going to sit with the dye for two hours with my heating cap. After the two hours is finished with the heating cap, I am going to apply my L'Oreal Everpure Moisture Deep Conditioner to that colored section of hair so as to balance the protein I gave to my hair and to leave my hair soft and moisturized. Hi guys, I'm back from rinsing out my L'Oreal Everpure Deep Conditioner, Moisture Deep Conditioner shampooing with my sulfate free cream of nature ultra moisturizing formula and conditioning with my herbal essences hello hydration so these are the results i really like it 
to the color I'll insert pictures at the end and comment down below if this was helpful or if you'll be being adventurous or being a rebel like myself and you're going to color your own hair all right bye